Hello friends, welcome to civil engineering exam. Today we are going to see the uh, dissolved oxygen sac curve. So that is very much important in the self purification of river. So the dissolved oxygen level in the self purification process that is called dissolved oxygen sac curve. So uh, we can take uh, dissolved oxygen uh, in y direction and uh, the zone of pollution or time or distance in the uh, x axis. So from that we can uh, find out the dissolved oxygen uh, into the different zones. So the uh, there are four zones are there. So first zone, then second, third, then four four zones are there so its first zone is a clear zone that is the effluent is uh, mixed in the river so there is clear water present in the river so that is called clear zone so in that zone the dissolved oxygen level is 100 percentage likewise the biological oxygen demand is zero uh, now the second zone is zone of degradation So that means uh, the effluent is degraded by the biological uh, biological organisms uh, in the river. So there is a BOD is uh, start rising and the dissolved oxygen will be reduced. So from over here, so the, the zone of degradation, the dissolved oxygen level is up to 40 percentage. It will reduce to 40 percentage. After that, uh, the zone three, that's an active degradation, active zone of degradation. and decomposition so in that zone the decomposition will occur actively so from that uh, the dissolved oxygen level is uh, uh, up to zero percentage and the bod is maximum so the biological oxygen demand that is uh, the oxygen required to decompose the materials uh, it's called bod so the biological oxygen demand is 100 percentage so now uh, this is the critical point we have to notice that is a maximum critical deficient so the maximum critical oxygen deficient over here uh, after the but uh, the reoxygenation uh, that is mean uh, the oxygen adding into the water so the reoxygenation will start uh, uh, start into the river so uh, the recovery process will be started so the fourth point so fourth zone is a zone of recovery here the recovery that is a uh, reoxygenation will be started in uh, very actively so all the effluent is decomposed in the active zone of degradation so the oxygen required to decompose the material is uh, will be reduced that is bod is reduced and the dissolved oxygen will be uh, raised because of the reoxygenation uh, capacity so after that uh, after that the uh, zone of recovery the clear water will go into the river so this is the main principle in the oxygen sac curve. So the dissolved oxygen level is 100% uh, in the starting state and the uh, uh, finishing stage also the 100%. In between the gap, the dissolved oxygen will be reduced into the zero level. Uh, that is called maximum critical deficient. So it's uh, only based on the uh, active zone of decomposition. So all the material present in the wastewater is decomposed by the microorganisms and uh, uh, it will create uh, the clear water. So there is self purification of so from that we have to notice the deoxygenation so deoxygenation is uh, the oxygen is reduced in the uh, river water and reoxygenation uh, so it's a recovery uh, stages so that is uh, uh, the oxygen is adding into the river water so from that starting point the deoxygenation is uh, higher so it will be reduced into the uh, very lower level because all the materials all the uh, waste waste materials are decomposed by the microorganisms in the end of the uh, self purification of river so from that uh, the reoxygenation is very minimum in the starting point because it's already clear zone so the amount of uh, oxygen uh, present in the water is very high so the uh, again the adding of uh, oxygen is not required so the reoxygenation is very minimum in the starting level and uh, the final level the reoxygenation will be maximum because uh, here the in the critical part uh, so the oxygen level is very low in the uh, river water so, so the oxygen is adding from the atmosphere it's a reoxygenation so the reoxygenation is a hundred percentage in the clear zone
so this curve is continue so if you uh, if you adding the effluent over here so the curve is continue over here so after that we can add uh, uh, effluent over here so again the process will be continue uh, continue in every stages so this is called oxygen sag curve and uh, oxygen deficient curve okay so this is the this is the curve called uh, reoxygenation curve so this called called deoxygenation curve so if you have any doubt in that uh, please comment in the comment section so again we will see in next video thank you